Now in that review, we talked about the IPD adjustment in the headset, and I asked if there were any good ways to measure the IPD of your eyes. And if you don't know what IPD is, it's the distance between your two pupils. And this is something that gets measured if you're getting prescription eyeglasses, for example. And a VR headset is very similar in that you have to get things in the sweet spot to get the right immersion. And if you know your IPD distance, you can set that adjustment, of course, a lot more efficiently because you'll know exactly what that distance is. Uh, so Jose Delgado wrote in with a great suggestion to go check out Zenny, uh, which is a prescription eyeglass retailer. And they have a little thing you can print out here to measure the distance yourself. And they give you a whole set of tips as to how to do that. So that might be one way to do it uh, relatively easily. It's nice to get a nice guide to that uh, particular measurement. Uh, another thing that I found, though, is an app on the iPhone called iMeasure. And if you have one of the newer iPhones with the Face ID sensor, it does a really good job of getting that measurement for you here. So you can see as I'm moving my head back and forth, it came up with about 61, 62, somewhere in that range. It was close enough that I was able to uh, make a determination as to what I should set my VR headset to. And that was really helpful. So check it out if you do have one of those compatible iPhones. Incidentally, that pupil tracking is how they shift your gaze uh, for that new camera attention feature too. So good stuff there and check it out if you want to know your IPD distance. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.